Okay, first I started by um, using one of the top note dies that I cut out with my Big Shot. And I'm going to be using the um, new stamp set that is available May 1st, which is called the Petaling Past. Okay, so using my chocolate chip ink, I'm going to stamp up my bike stamp that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to stamp that right on to the corner. Okay, then I um, just pushed a little bit of the um, ink onto the top of my lid. And I'm going to drop a little bit of water in there to pick up this color. It's the same color. And then I'm just basically going to go around the bike area. And I'm going to kind of watercolor it in a little bit. And I'm not doing this in any kind of particular way. But all I wanted to do is kind of give it an, an aged look around the bike. Just like so. I'm just going to take my heat tool and I'm just simply going to blow over it to help it dry real quick. Okay, then taking the same ink, I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to go all around the outside of my top note to distress it. And as you can see, I'm going in deeper in some areas than in, than in others. Okay, next I'm going to be taking the um, Rough Type Letters um, stamp set that is also in the new Summer Mini Catalog. And the first piece I'm going to be using is the little round oval from there. And I'm going to put that onto my... I'm going to lay that in here in the center. And I'm going to push that onto my block. And then again, using my chocolate chip ink, I'm going to punch out three of these. Okay, so I have three of those. And then I'm going to take my letters, and I'm going to start with my D. And I'm going to put that in the center. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Put that in the center. And I don't want this to be perfect. You could make it perfect. Um, but I want it to look kind of old fashioned and from my kids. So um, I'm not trying to make this perfect. And this is actually something you could actually let your kids do themselves. So, so there's my dad. Okay, the next I'm going to take my 3 4 circle punch and I am going to punch around the outside of each one of those images. Okay, okay then taking a um, piece of darker cardstock, I'm going to punch out three 1 inch circles. And then taking my snail, I'm going to attach each of my stamped out images onto the circle. I'm going to take my sponge that already had some ink on it and I'm just going to lightly go over this because I kind of wanted to rough it up a little bit and make it look worn. So. I'm just kind of going over it to vintage it out. Okay, then I'm going to just take some adhesive and I'm going to run a line of adhesive down 
along here and then I'm going to just place my letters as I'd want them. And I kind of want to overlap them. So I may want to lift this one up, put that one underneath. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't want you to think that, that doing something like this, it always has to be perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to take a piece of cardstock and I'm going to attach that onto the front of some cardstock. And then to finish, I'm just going to take a stamp that I have in my own collection that I truly love. And it says, we do not remember days, we remember moments. And um, I'm going to stamp that onto the same color top note that I cut out. I'm just going to stamp that onto there. And then I just simply am going to start tearing around here. I'm just tearing up the edges. And again, just going around, and I'm just basically tearing however I feel like it. And again, just taking my ink and my sponge, I'm just going to go around the outside edges. And wrap those up. And then I'm just going to attach that on the inside of my card. As you can see, this was just a scratch piece that I had. So you can, this is good when you're going to rip it up. Just use a scratch piece. And then I'm just going to put that on the inside of my card. And there, I've got a cute little Father's Day card. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.